Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to Learning with Miss Nancy. And today, I want to sing one of my favorite songs, Bingo. You know that song. There was a farmer, had a dog, and Bingo was his name Oh, B-I-N-G-O. That song. Yes. I want to sing that song today. But before I go outside and sing that song, I want to see how many things we can apply to the word bingo that we've learned from Miss Nancy. Higher order thinking. We want to apply some of the information, some of the lessons that we've learned from Miss Nancy, some of the concepts that we've learned, and apply them to the word bingo. Are you ready? Let's see how you do. Okay? So, here's the word bingo. B-I-N-G-O. So, the word bingo. How many syllables or sounds do you hear in the word bingo? Well, let's clap it out. Bingo. Two. Excellent. Two sounds, two syllables. Now, I want you to think. What part of speech is the word bingo? Now, remember the song goes... There was a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name of. Very good. It's a noun, because a noun names a person, a place, or a thing. So Bingo is the title of a song. That's a thing. And Bingo is the name of the dog. That's a thing. And also, Bingo is a board game that a lot of people like to play. So the part of speech... That bingo is, we would say, is a noun. N-O-U-N. And you know there are eight parts of speech. Now, here's a hard one. Is bingo a proper noun or a common noun? Yes, it's a proper noun because it begins with a capital letter. A proper noun represents a specific type of noun. It has a name. Right? So bingo is a song, but it's a specific name of a song. Bingo is a dog, and it's the dog's name. So it has a title, which makes it a proper noun. It has a specific name. Excellent. And the clue is, it begins with a capital letter. Very good. Proper. So it's a proper noun. You're so smart. Now, what we're going to do is create words from the word bingo. You ready? So B-I-N-G-O. And you can use the words more than, letters more than once. So what words do you see in bingo? Yes, big. B I G. B I G. What else? Good. Go. These are all sight words. G O. Any others? N I N. Excellent. You're so smart. Any more? Bin. B I N. What's a bin? Like a clothes bin, shopping cart bin. So big, go in, and bin. R N. You can find those words within the one word bingo. So just from the title, bingo. The song, bingo. Look at all of the things that you can apply to this word. It has two syllables. It's a noun, which is one part of the eight parts of speech. It's not only a noun, it's a proper noun. And within the word bingo, you can create one, two, three, four sight words. See how easy that is? So when you learn a word, folks, try to put the word into syllables. Try to figure out what part of speech it is. Decide if it's a noun, it's a proper or common noun because there are more, there are eight parts of speech. And try to create other words within the word. That's higher order thinking using application. You are so smart. So now let's go outside and sing bingo. Hi, boys and girls. So are you ready to sing bingo with me? Here we go. There was a farmer, had a dog, and bingo was his name-o. I-N-G-O, I-N-G-O, 
I-N-G-O and bingo was his name-o. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name-o. N-G-O, N-G-O, N-G-O and bingo was his name-o. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name-o. G-O, G-O, G-O and bingo was his name-o. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name-o. Oh. Oh, oh, and Bingo was his name. Oh, there was a farmer had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, and Bingo was his name. Oh, woo! Thank you, guys. That concludes learning with Miss Nancy for today. But I need you to do me a favor and tell all of your family and friends to subscribe to Miss Nancy, to like, share, and subscribe. And when you do, the sun comes out. Look at the sunshine, okay? Now, you know what time it is. It's time for my happy dance.